Now, let's get practical. You say, okay, I understand what you are saying theoretically. Hey guys, it's James here from JVC Paints. Um, this is the last time I'll be making a video in this room. As you can see, it's just changed quite a bit. Um, the flag's still there, the cat's gone. But anyway, uh, I don't know when I'll be able to put up another video, so I thought I'd get this out there as fast as I could. I'm going to show you the Australians that I've done and I'm working on. Um, so we'll get started. These are all by Warlord Games. Um, there, there are the Australians. Um, we've got the Scout guys. We've got this guy, this guy, and this guy. Oops, this guy here. They're the Scouts. Um, and the other three are uh, from the section that I've, I've done most of the guys for. Right here I've done most of the flesh. Um, I still have some details and stuff to do. There's, I can Now I'm looking through the camera, I'm seeing a couple things I want to go in and, and tidy up or whatever. But uh, yeah, for right now, these guys, I'm considering the flesh done. I'm going to start on the uniforms next. Uh, after this I'm going to show you some of the uh, New, the, uh, New Guinea uh, uh, militiamen guys, I guess. Uh, and uh, the other Aussies that I painted up. Stay tuned. Here's uh, some of the uh, New Guineans, or Papua New Guineans. I guess yeah, I guess it'd be New Guineans, wouldn't it? Um, I don't know the name of this manufacturer. I, I received these figures from uh, my friend who I'm painting them for, um, and uh, I painted these. These were the first ones I did. I don't know who the manufacturer is, like I stated, um, but they, they came out okay. There's a couple of Tommy guns. Uh, we've got uh, a couple of SMGs in this squad. Uh, the rifle guys have the, their bayonets fixed, and those bayonets are extremely were very very uh, uh, fragile and I was I'm still scared of even touching them because I always figured they're gonna bend um, and uh, they painted up okay um, I'm not the biggest fan of the sculpts per se because you'll see the Warlord Games ones in a second but I guess he bought these before Warlord Games came out with their range so uh, he had this army in mind for a long long time um, and then next to them I've got this this is the medic uh, set um, it's not the World of Games one. The World of Games one also has like a like a doctor or, or a, um, a medic um, sort of reaching in and you know doing something you know administering some kind of medicine. But uh, yeah, we've got the, the bears here. However, um, I, I don't really want to move it too too much because what I've got, I've got it on pins um, here. I've made a huge mistake here, and I'm going to have to rip remove one of these figures and rebase this one. But uh, I haven't sprayed these guys yet. You can see, you know, because I've been moving and I'm, you know, I've, you know, you're moving stuff and everything gets missing and whatever. But I'm gonna have to go in and touch up because there's a couple chips on here because I wanted to get the bases done before and the first and then uh, give them the uh, the the sealant and the and the uh, pardon me, uh, the the dull coat and all that other kind of stuff. So this is group one. Let's take a look at the the Warlord Games ones. Make a little bit of a comparison. Here we have the. Uh, the Warlord Games uh, New Guineans. Um, you can see they're a bit different. They they don't look as kind of I, I would say almost cartoony. They just seem better sculpted, I guess I would say. Um, but uh, yeah, they, they turned out pretty well. Um, they're pretty limited for gear, as you can see. There's only the NCO has the uh, the submachine gun, and I'm looking at its finger right now. And I notice that it's chipped. Um, unfortunately, yeah, I'm moving stuff around, and this is happening. So. Um, yeah, and on, on his, his ammo bag as well. So when you see these guys when they're all done, hopefully uh, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll have gone in and I will have, uh, have uh, you know ref, uh, you know retouched everything so it make it a little look a little bit better. But uh, yeah, they were they were pretty neat. Um, just show you the back of a couple of these guys so you can get an idea of. Uh, there's not a lot. I mean, it's basically the loincloth, uh, some webbing, uh, and the skin tone, uh, which I did with a. Uh, basically a dark brown and then I went over it with like a reddy brown and then the final highlight was a mix of the red brown and sort of like a honey brown sort of like a really really sort of light brown almost like the, the color of this uh, this table you can see in the back and it turned out pretty well uh, the hair uh, black I decided to highlight it with blue uh, just to give it a little bit more contrast so you know like an old comic book so you know Superman's hair was actually blue for some reason but anyway these are them and uh, yeah they, they turned out okay again I haven't done the bases and uh, and I, I gotta go in there and do some touch-ups. Let's take a look at the Australians. And here are the Australians. Um, they're quite interesting. Uh, I don't know anything about this army list. I'm just painting the figures. But from what I can tell, uh, this this is a section to be reckoned with. Um, as you can see, uh, they're they're pretty much armed with uh, a lot of uh, SMGs. We've got one, two, three, four SMGs. We've got a Bren here. I'm assuming I don't know. This guy's got a radio. I don't know if they can they can also act as spotters or something like that. Uh, I would imagine so. Um, and then one of the riflemen, I think the other rifleman here, 
It seems he's got a sniper scope on there. So I don't know if there's like, you know, it's a special rule that you've got, oh, this dice is the sniper. And you know, he's gonna he's gonna pick off your guy on a three and you know, all that other kind of stuff. But uh, yeah, I'm really into painting these guys. I'm looking forward to painting those other six actually that I've got on the go. Um, and I still have uh, uh, some, uh, I've got a lot, heap of guys actually. I've got the militia box to do and some of the actual Australians from that other manufacturer um, that has remained a mystery. But yeah, these guys are great. I really enjoy painting them. Uh, I liked giving a couple of these guys some sort of contrasting hair. This guy's a ginger and we've got two, two really blonde guys there. Um, you know, living their lives in the sun, their hair would be pretty bleachy, so I thought that would look kind of cool. So, uh, yeah, stay tuned. I've got a bit of a waffle in my response to the Leon T66 that I was supposed to do like three weeks ago or whatever it was. So, uh, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you guys a bit of a chat here in a second. Stay tuned. Just a small chat, I promise. Hey, guys. It's James here. Um, I think this isn't a big face reveal. Um, I've had a couple photos up before, but I think this is the first time I've actually spoken to the camera like this. But uh, so this is this is my 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 belated uh, response to Leon T66 or Leon T66. Sorry about that if I mispronounced it. Um, anyway, uh, yeah. So as you can see, I, I live in kind of a, an isolated place. Uh, I'm off the beaten path, off the beaten path, as it were. And uh, so I used to, you know, be really heavily into gaming when I lived in Canada. And uh, you know, up here there's a, there are not that many gamers, so I don't get that many games in a year. So for me, the painting and the, sh and the channel and everything is just a way to sort of stay in tune with something I really love to do, and I've been doing it for years. So um, also, I would recommend. I mean, if you, you're thinking about it, yeah, do it. I mean, I started out, and I you know I had like you know I got something like 10 subs or something. I'd been commenting for years or you know a couple of years, and, and I had 10 subs, and then you know I kind of pushed it on to some of my friends, and they're like, yeah, okay, you know, they mercy subbed me. But now I'm up to, I think I have 250 plus now, but 251 this morning, I was 251, I checked it out. So, I think that's cool, you know, um, and it's a good way to just sort of see what other people are up to, you know, uh, how's it going with them, and sort of, you, you kind of realize that, you know, we're all kind of in, in this together, we're all in sort of the same boat, you know, we're, we're working, we're doing this, we've got family things, things come up, oh, I gotta go here, I gotta go there, I got stuff I gotta do, but, uh, for me, I think one of the biggest things, one of the greatest things, one of the reasons I really keep at it is um, is the friendships that I've made. And I mean actual, not just sort of internet e-friendships, you know, but uh, actual real uh, friendships. So um, like uh, a few years ago, I went to the, the tabletop uh, battle tournament in Nottingham in 2017. And I met guys that were on that channel or the, the patrons or whatever these other guys and it was basically we, we gamed and we, we all had hangovers or whatever and you know had a lot of drinking and everything and I, I came away with that with some really good friends you know I've got friends all over the world now I've got friends in Germany Italy uh, the UK the United States um, and for me uh, be living where I do and, and only having a chance you know once a year sort of travel and with my my you know pretty much my family kind of you know uh, well my parents are passed away so um, there's no reason to go back to Canada so much so um, you know it's good for me because in the summertime or at some point of the year I can go to one of these places and they're always you know they come out here too I've had a friend of mine actually the, the in May uh, a friend of mine Pim came out so um, and there's a real friendships and these are things that you know through gaming and just being able to be yourself with somebody like every time I go gaming with these guys we talk about beer we talk shit we talk movies and all that stuff but it, it's not it's not, doesn't have that uh, how should I say it, it does what it does have is it has this, this real sort of fraternal uh, feel to it where it's there's nothing antagonistic we aren't the persons that we have to pretend to be every day at work or you know at home uh, or wherever whatever the case may be and you can talk about you know hey wow you know my, my wife doesn't want to hear about you know you know Janissaries or <laughs> Plains Indians you know what, could, what did they use for war paint come on even my friends here don't want to hear that stuff you know um, but they, they tolerate it I guess so but yeah I think if you're thinking about it absolutely do it um, you this isn't like other parts of YouTube where you know you're gonna get a lot of trolls and some people like thumbing down your videos I think I've had like six thumbs down and over like 70 videos you know and the, the response has been very very positive and it keeps me going so anyways I hope maybe you know that was interesting I don't know uh, you guys have a good weekend uh, and I will talk to you later and uh, take it easy and keep those brushes moving. Bye-bye.